How have you split the work with James in light of the reorganization of the technical department? Um, well, it's good having James here. I mean, there's a, you know there's a huge amount to do, even for even for two of us, to be honest. So um, James is concentrating on um, you know getting the car sorted and the development of next year's car sorted, and I'm concentrating more on sorting out the the engineering organisation. Regarding next year, there's a lot of talk about race management. Can you explain exactly what this means? And is it true that driver experience will be an important factor? Um, I think racing will look a little different next year. Um, you know, with the introduction of uh, the fuel limit for the race and, you know, and with the, the varying energy limits that we have, I mean, for instance, in qualifying from running max energy to you know, a, a balanced level of energy, you're looking at you know, four or five tenths difference from that. And similarly, when you're fuel saving, it could easily make another half a second difference. So from the race, running flat out in a race to the next lap running fuel saving, it could be one to one and a half seconds a lap different. So I mean, trying to, you know, from an engineering point of view, it's trying to work out you know, how to use the, you know, the fuel and the, and the energy level linked into the strategy to try and understand where it's best to go quick and where it's best to try and save fuel. Um, for the drivers, I mean, there's obviously a huge amount for them to learn as well. Um, you know, it's quite a step change from what we've been used to for the last years. Um, you know, that in reality comes from us looking in, in simulation of what to do and then the drivers practicing it in the simulator. So there'll be a lot of work going on back here, you know, with them training before they even get to an event to understand it. So, you know, in, a, in reality, you know, experienced drivers are always good to have and in reality that then will even more time to concentrate on all the new bits that are coming in as well. Along with Spa, Suzuka is probably the best circuit from a driver's point of view. Is that also the case for the engineers from a technical perspective? Um, I think all tracks are you know, challenging for different reasons technically. Um, you know, Suzuka, I think you know, it's a, you know, particularly the first sector with a combination of uh, all the corners through the S's of you, know, you have to get the first one right to get the second one right. You know. It's understandable that the drivers you know, enjoy that and then when they get it right, you know, they get a, well, when they get a perfect lap, it, it, it's great. Um, the, from an engineering side as well, it, it's similar for us, you know, we've got to get the car set up right for all those corners. So I think on, on both sides it's a challenging track.